Alright guys, so I've got something kind of special for you here today, and that is of course tank controls. So, I finally started playing tanks, um, didn't like the default controls, and basically I wanted to create something that revolved around my playing controls, so there weren't any, any conflicts and I could use controls together, so in other words I could jump in a plane and to jump in a tank without having to change anything. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've done here. Um, so, just to summarise how it all works, um, the throttle is on the right stick up and down, just like in the planes. Um, the steering is L1 and R1, again, just like the planes. Um, zoom is your L2, and R2 is fire for the main cannon. And I've got X for the additional guns. And to go down the scope, I just double tap, um, well I press L1 and R1 in together, sorry. So that brings up the scope. Uh, your aiming is on the left stick, so that's just mouse aim. Range finder is circle, so if you want to find out how far away a target is, you can just press circle and that will give you the range. And then what I've set up here is the sight control on the right stick, so I've hold the right stick in and then I can then adjust it by going up or down. So this guy is at 600, so that now, if you see the, the crosshair has actually moved down. So I know exactly where he is. Um, that's for the main caliber though. So as you can see the main one hits but I have to actually adjust my aim for this one. But yeah that's really handy to have um, just to find out where, where your targets are, how far away they are. And I'm guessing the more you use it um, you're going to be accustomed to it and eventually you won't even need to use it, you'll just know exactly where they are. Um, but I'm pretty new to tanks, so it's, it's really useful for me. Um, my binoculars are on the left stick, pressed in. So I've actually found that you can look around with the binoculars. Um, it gives you a slightly above view um, from your tank, so you're not putting yourself into a position where you can be shot at. And you can also look around without moving the turret with this, which is really handy. And also, if you find a target, you can just tap the fire button. Um, go into... Yeah, and as you can see, the turret has moved on its own. Where it was positioned with the binoculars. Um, I've also got the driver view here on the right D-pad. It's not really something you need, but I'm just playing with this... Um, and the only other thing really worth mentioning is I've moved the map to D-pad down because obviously in tanks um, it's more useful to be having the map out. Um, previously I had this on the scoreboard so down would bring my scoreboard up um, but now it brings the map up. So I've simply just moved, I've switched those so the scoreboard is now the right stick pressed in plus right. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, there is a few tricks I've done with the throttle. Um, so, for instance, releasing it is going to break. Um, I've had to set a correction for that to work. Uh, oh, and the view. I've also got the view on the right stick, sorry. So, I've only got the x-axis set up for the view. Um, I couldn't get the mouse aim to work, so in the plane, plane controls I hold the right stick and I move the left stick to look around but that will not work with tanks, I'm not sure why um, could possibly be a bug I'm guessing but yeah, um, I've had to use the right stick because of that reason so I've only got the x-axis but still I can look around um, pretty good like that and like I say it doesn't work with the, the mouse camera so uh, this is basically what you're left with anyway, it's the only option you've got. 
Um, but yeah, it works pretty good. I've got to say this M3 Lee is pretty good as well, it's really fun to play. Like you wouldn't expect a tank like this to be able to take that out, but it, it does. No problem. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, artillery and whatnot is a bit fiddly, it's on triangle. Um, don't know, just, just me not understanding how it works but I find it switches to the map and, and back and forth on its own. I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out with that, explain what's going on there. But basically what's happening is I'm pressing triangle and it's bringing the map up um, where I want to be in third person and vice versa. So yeah, hopefully you guys can explain that one for me. Um, but yeah, that pretty much sums up the controls. Um, just combined tank and plane controls, so so you don't have to switch when you're, you're playing different modes. So I'm going to bring up the control screen now, just explain a few things in detail. So I'm using automatic transmission here. So throttle it just right stick up down like I was saying, pretty much identical to the plane controls, only it's not relative control. And for the steering, just like the yaw on the planes, I've got this set to the max values, but it's opposite. So your right is L1 and R1 is going to be L1. And it's also inverted down here. Uh, the brakes, now this is where it gets kind of complicated. Um, Essentially what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, make the tank break as soon as I put the throttle, the right stick, in neutral. In other words, as soon as I let go of the stick. So when that's in the, in the neutral position, I wanted it to break. So essentially what I've done is I've set the axis up here to the right stick up down for the brakes. And I've got the correction set all the way up to the top. So as you can see here, I'm in the neutral position now and that means the brakes are on. So as soon as I increase the throttle so you see the physical axis there, as soon as I increase it that means they're off. Bear in mind this is inverted so release it, the brakes are on, throttle up and the brakes are off. And then what I've got here on the right on the min value so this is going to release the brakes again. Um, so for reverse, I've got the right stick down. So when I pull it down, again, the brakes are going to release. Um, I've also got the right stick up there. And finally, I've got R1, which is the steering. So when I'm moving to, um, to the left, so R1 is left, remember? The tracks are opposite. Um, so when I'm moving right, the brakes are going to release there again. And then again for the right brake, same thing. So we've got right stick up. Um, for some reason I've got R1 and L1 in there. I think that should be L L1. Yeah, right stick up, right stick down and L1 I believe. So yeah, it's just a, le a neat little trick I figured out to make sure the brakes were on when I let go of the throttle. And again, when I'm steering, um, it also means you can look down the site as well without the brakes being applied. That's another thing I wanted to be able to do. So I wanted to be able to aim while I was on the move. Um, so that's the way I've got around that one. So the main caliber, that's just R2. Um, secondary guns, that's going to be X and the machine gun is square. Um, circle is special guns, although I've not actually played any tanks with those yet. So I'm not sure how that will work out, hopefully it will be okay. 
Um, I've not actually used the smoke grenade yet. Not sure why I've got that set to GNH. So, zoom camera is just L2, sniper is L1 and R1 pressed together. Um, the driver camera, that's that's up to you, that one. It might be useful in, in sim, I'm not sure, I'll just put that there for the sake of it, really. Um, binoculars, I'm still playing with this. Um, I've got it set to the left, left stick currently. Um, but bear in mind, this is also going to be target select. Um, D-pad up is also free, so it could possibly go there. Um, when, I, when I figure it out, I'll probably put another video up, but this is just a work in progress at the moment. And I just wanted to get the video out there because I realise there's quite a few of you using my playing controls now. And it's going to be really handy for you guys if you can combine the tanks and the planes in one control setup. So, uh, the view in battle, ground axis, so that's um, your left and right your view. So, that's set to the right stick, left and right. Um, online area is all the way up to four. And that's pretty much that. Uh, tank aim in, left stick, left and right. Same with the Y axis on these up and down. Um, sensitivity, just play with these yourself. Um, I've got mine pretty low at the moment, just so just until I get used to the tanks. Uh, tank repair is circle, so that's the same as your special guns. Um, also got fire extinguisher on circle. And then for your shell selection, it's just L2 plus left, up, right and down. So all your shells are on the D-pad. And then as I was saying, um, the event selection menu, that's triangle. So that's what you use for the artillery. Um, Rangefinder is circle. And the final one is the sight distance control. So this is the one where you can change the crosshair. So I've got this set to inverted. Um, keep value disabled. And it's enabled with the right stick pressed in. Um, and just to cover what I've changed with the map and the scoreboard. So as I was saying, I've just, I've just flipped these around. So the map is now down, and the scoreboard is the right stick pressed in, plus right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hope it helps you guys out this. Thanks for watching.